In matter of fact, in 19, you know, I, you know, people in my situation can't leave the country, and especially since 9-11, because now you need a passport to come in from Mexico. Uh, but after my mother died, and, um, and by the way, my family had been told I was de dead, but after my mother had died, um, I was a little cranky because my brother had not let me know she was ill, etc. And um, then I decided, Richard and I decided we should go down to Australia. He was my last surviving family member and um, make my peace with him. So we did go down to Australia, went out via Mexico. I came back via Argentina and um, really got to be a traveler from all this. And um, my brother and I did make our peace. And it was a good thing I did because a month after I got back here, uh, my brother dropped dead. Um, and I couldn't go to the funeral. Um, the other part, why the immigration hasn't come after me, I can only uh, say that for me to give an answer to that would be sheer speculation. And uh, I don't like to speculate on what I don't know. I do think though, when, when not just on this issue, but any issue when someone is hiding from the government, the best place to hide is in plain sight. And if you have a film being made about you, and especially in the climate right now, I think that in some way helps protect from me. Also, when we came back, when we, you know, talk about um, being underground, we don't mean that we were running around hiding like uh, the SLA or something. Um, we actually moved back into the same building because we also felt the government had no right to unhouse us from where we lived. It was just that uh, uh, we went to non-gay uh, demonstrations, like, uh, you know, there are a lot of variety of issues that we would support, but uh, we didn't, uh, make appearances in our community. Um, to be quite honest, there were elements of our community at that time I didn't fully trust anyhow, so we just decided to be very quiet.